Hey, professional bass angler and River to Sea Pro Staff member Aaron Lassour here. I'm out here on the California Delta. It's the end of summer, and I wanted to put together a video highlighting River to Sea's Whopper Plopper. This is a Larry Bur Dahlberg design, and it's kind of a combination of a few different baits. It's got a spinning tail that churns up a lot of water like a buzz bait, but yet it floats, which is more like a prop bait, because you know if you, you try to kill a buzz bait, you can't really do it, it's just gonna sink. Well, if you kill this bait, it floats in the water column, but it's not really like a prop bait, because the prop bait's got these little tiny small props on there, and they're usually a little bit smaller, depending on what size you get, but this thing right here, this tail kicks up a lot of water, puts off a lot of commotion. You can burn it, you can slow roll it, you can do a pause, stop, retrieve. It's, it's very versatile and it comes in a lot of various colors for whatever forage base is in your local body of water. And it's just got the right profile. So when the fish see this bait from underneath, it looks like so, uh, fish or some sort of bait on the top of the water, what it's supposed to look like. And it's got a totally different sound than the metal kind of uh, tinny sound you get from a buzz bait. This is a plopping sound, hence the name Whopper Plopper. So in this video, I'm going to show you the areas where I fish it, what equipment I fish it on, and how I fish it out here on the Delta. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to catch a lot of fish with this thing. All right, so basically, right now we're, it's about 7.30 in the morning. It's pretty calm out here, and I'm targeting large flats that have a little bit of current that rolls across them, and there's a lot of sparse hydrilla. The cool thing about this bait is that you can cover a lot of water quickly with it, and if there's fish feeding in the area, they're basically gonna eat it. They can't resist this thing. So right now I'm throwing, this is the perch color, i found that every color pretty much works out here. The, the loon, which is black, I've thrown white, I've thrown uh, monkey butt, and they, they'll basically eat everything, or every, every color. So there's a couple colors I haven't tried out here yet, but everything I've thrown so far, they pretty much eat, and I haven't found that one color is better than the other. So as long as you have that, uh, the Whopper Plopper on there, choose whatever color you feel the most confident in, you're basically, you're still gonna catch them. So let's see if we can put some in the boat. <laughs> There's the first one of the day. I had to go to a second spot. It's not huge. Now you want to be extra careful getting the hooks out of these fish. A couple weeks ago, I put one in the back of my hand. It was not pretty. So there's some big, gnarly, sharp hooks. Well, that's a pretty small one right there. Hopefully we're running some better ones, but at least we got the skunk out of the boat. Another one. A little better. Not by much, though. Now I'm just using just a medium retrieve when I'm throwing this out there. Just enough to get that tail moving. He's hooked pretty good. Just enough to get that tail moving and doesn't give him a whole lot of time to figure out what that is up there and get the good reaction bite. Another little one pounder. Another little 
one. Not huge. So I've got, I'll tell you quickly on my setup. I got uh, throwing this on straight braid, it's 20 pound. And I'm throwing this on a Dobbins, it's a Randy Maccabee 805CB. And I like to throw this on the, the heavier crankbait because it gives, it's got two big old treble hooks on there. And then uh, it's got a, a strong enough backbone to still, still let me horse those fish out of heavy cover or if they try to go in the weeds, but it's still got enough parabolic bend on the top end here that it doesn't rip these hooks right out of its mouth. So it's a perfect combination of the two. Now we just need to get ourselves some four or five pounders. I just had a fish roll on that, and normally I don't kill it. I just keep retrieving it, because most of the times when I kill it, I don't catch them. Let's see if I can throw it back in there and get it though. So I'm taking a halftime break. You know, the conditions out here have changed quite a bit over the past three weeks to a month. About three weeks ago, we had triple digit weather. The water temps were about four to six degrees hotter and the top water bite was off the hook. Well, today it's a little bit more breeze. The air temps are down to in the mid eighties and the water temps right at 70. So the top water bite, not as good as it was three weeks ago, but I saved some footage. Take a look. That's a tank. Woo! That is a tank. Oh. Oh. He annihilates that. Oh. It's a 
sometimes they'll do that, they'll sneak up on your ass. Oh, all right, that's about four and a half. Oh, I get a little better. Woo, it kind of lulled me to sleep. I hadn't had a bite for a while and he came up and just annihilated that. Oh. All right, that was the kind of whopper popper fish you're looking for right there. Look at that sucker. That's a pretty one. Yeah. Well, I've wrapped up my day out here on the Delta. I didn't quite catch as many fish as I wanted to, but you still got to see the way the whopper plopper worked and it catch some fish and a pretty decent one at four and a half pounds. Let me show you real quick the setup I had today so you can pick and choose what's going to work for you. Uh, I was throwing this today on the Dobbins, it's the, R the 805 RMCB, which is the Randy McAbee cranking stick. It's an eight foot rod, got a medium heavy backbone and a moderate fast tip, so I can cast this thing a mile. It's got just enough give and parabolic in the tip for the fish to load up so I'm not yanking those treble hooks out of their mouth and then when I've got them I can still horse them and get them out of the cover and control those fish. Uh, I've got it on a just a regular retrieve it's a 6.4 to 1 ratio on a Abu Revo STX and I'm throwing it again on a 20 pound braid you can put it on 50, 60, whatever you feel comfortable with. I haven't lost a fish or broke one off on it yet so 20 pounds is pretty much adequate so uh, this and I was throwing today I was throwing the perch color let me show you a couple other cool colors that river to sea offers that's the loon and this one here is more of a shad and it's a monkey butt now the the paint finish on these is really durable I've been throwing I probably have over I don't know 200 casts on this and over 40 fish and if you look right up there close I mean the paint's barely even worn off so these, they, they last a long time. The hooks are still razor sharp. So for more information on the Whopper Plopper baits, visit rivertoseausa.com. You can check out the Dobbins rods at dobbinsrods.com. So until next time, stay focused, fish hard, and I'll see you out on the water.